What's up, guys? It's your boy, the Piscean Predator, and I'm back with that TPP True Crime Talk. Before we jump into the topic, can you guys smash the like and that subscribe? Help your boy out. I appreciate you greatly. And for those that are subscribed, if you guys could jump over to the community tab on my channel page and um, <clears throat> take the poll I have up. I still have the poll up to see who's interested in me going live. So far, I only got like nine votes over there, but they're all yes, so that's super positive. I appreciate that greatly. But I was just trying to see if I can get more and more people to jump on there to be interested in it because it really sucked to go live and only have like three people watching me. But if I got to start that way, I will start that way. I just wanted to give you guys a little extra time to answer that poll. All right, guys, enough of that. Let's jump into the topic. And the topic for this video is the Nicola Bully case, right? And man, this one, like it seems like every day there's just more and more to talk about. Either, you know, decent, like, you know, factual finds and inconsistencies in the case, or there's straight up crazy speculations and, and video tampering or, you know, just weirdness going on with some of the creators that are covering this case. But today, I'm not covering the weirdness. We're going to cover some of the facts. And some of the facts are that um, there's some things that, that lend themselves to this being a, uh, a cover-up conspiracy. There's some things I've started to learn as I research deeper into this British law that really, man, it, it, it's super sus. And it makes me understand why so many, you know, UK citizens are having a hard time digesting the narrative that law enforcement is trying to push out. And the biggest thing to me isn't like similar cases to this that haven't been solved. Um, it's not that. And it's not even all the little details and discrepancies in like CCTV footage that's supposed to be evidence that there's weird stuff going on with. The, the narrative that's been inconsistent with law enforcement, that's not it either. Dude, I, I, I just got to learn that there was a case that happened where British police like literally beat a man to death and then after they went on trial and were convicted the names of those police officers weren't released what the hell are you serious that does not happen out here in the u.s we might have a lot of bad stuff that happens but that's a level that we that we don't accept out here that you don't get away with out here so that that blew my mind and then what blew my mind even more is I'm learning that they're trying to pass legislation to where they can enact that by law, that they can like literally hide the identities of police officers involved in some next level crimes, like covering up the names of officers that have murdered people. Are you serious? That's insane, guys. Yo, no wonder so many of you in the UK have been silenced and are scared of what's going on, dude. Oh, my Lord. That is nuts. Absolutely nuts. So it, it seems like people that are actually doing some solid investigation that aren't tied to like bad things they pulled with their content creation, those people seem to be getting silenced. And the only loud ones that are still putting out content, well, most of the loud ones that are still putting out content are people that um, are content creators that have been tied back to, you know, despicable acts for monetary gain. That being said, now I feel even, and I feel like it's even more important for me to cover what I do come across on this case, because if you guys out in the UK that are legitimate creators are scared to cover these facts, because look, dude, your law enforcement will literally cover up some bad stuff if they do it to you. I understand, dude. I understand why you're not talking, and I will be more than glad to talk for you guys. So, so glad that I'm going to make it a lot easier for anybody to reach out to me on this case that wants to get some information out there, as long as it's vetted, you know what I mean? And I have some proof on it and I can like go and find details and documents on what you're selling me. I'm going to set up a new, uh, uh, basically a new email specifically for this channel so that you guys can contact me and let me know what's going on. Whether you're just a citizen that knows some things and has proof on things, or if you're a content creator that's scared to put it out and wants me to put it out because I'm over here across the pond and they can't do nothing to me over here, let me know. I'm going to link that <clears throat> that email down in the comments. I'm going to link it on my uh, bio on the channel. I'll have it in plenty of places for you guys to find it. Hit me up and let me know because now after learning what I've learned about this new legislation they're trying to pass and the fact that they've hidden the names of officers involved in heinous crimes in the past from the UK citizens, dude, 
that just takes this whole case to a different level. And especially in this case, knowing that one of the people, the persons of interest by the public has family affiliations with law enforcement. Yeah. Super sus now, bro. Super sus. Now I'm 100% on the, it was some foul play and there's a cover up happening. That's my opinion on this situation. And the simple fact, like I said in prior videos, the fact that they're waiting so long for this autopsy information, all this stuff to come out, that makes me feel like there's an internal investigation going on that encompasses more than just police, you know, handling of the case, but might also be investigating the actual true cause of her death and the true cause if they come out without the right you know evidence and information it's going to drive the uk citizens nuts you guys are going to go crazy and they don't want that they're trying to keep this whole situation contained as best as possible and then seeing how they've handled other cases th this is their mo this is how they do things so that being said i'm all about shining a big ass bright led flashlight on the situation a big old torch on it for you guys so let me know if you guys have any any evidence anything that other creators are scared to put out there that's actual factual send it to me guys i will report on it i will put out videos and you can share those videos and they can't stop it they can't they can't come threaten me they can't come break into my home they can't you know come in with false accusations and rough me up and put me in jail they can't do that i'm over here they can't do it so unless they send some special agent overseas to go deal with me which i highly doubt they can't stop me so like i said i'm here to support y'all and i'm here for the truth that's what i'm all about i'm all about truth and justice and you guys aren't getting the truth and the proper justice over there so <clears throat> by all means send me that and i will help you out the best that i can all right guys that's what i have to say on this situation and uh yeah man i'm still kind of bewildered about it all but uh i see corruption for corruption and this is this is like <laughs> this is corruption of justice 100 percent. like for real they're really going to pass a bill protecting killer cops nah I ain't driving with that. Hell no. This is a part of why I I live where I live. It might be a little wild over here, and there's some things wrong that we need to fix, definitely in our culture, but that is not going to fly. That's not going to fly. So let me know, guys, down in the comments, what you think about my thoughts, my opinions, and my feelings on this. If you support it, um, let me know in the comments. And like I said, shoot me email if you have some stuff you would want me to cover that other creators just ain't going to cover in a proper way. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. Much love to you all out there in the UK. Much love to my, any of my Americans watching this as well. Um, it's your boy, the Piscean Predator, y'all. Peace.